The Star Rover, published in 1915 and written by Jack London, is a novel set in San Quentin State Prison and follows the life and thoughts of a prisoner named Professor Darrell Standing. Standing, a former university professor, is serving a life sentence for murder, a crime he claims he didn't commit, and has faced severe physical and psychological punishment at the hands of the prison warden and guards. As the story begins, Standing is subjected to a cruel form of punishment called the jacket, a canvas garment that is tightly bound around the body to severely restrict movement and cause great discomfort. To escape the excruciating pain and the harsh realities of prison life, Standing discovers he has the ability to separate his consciousness from his body. In this trance-like state, he experiences what he refers to as the little death and begins to recall intricate details of what he believes to be his past lives. Each of Standing's visions unfolds a new chapter in the history of human experience as he recounts living as multiple characters across various times and places. He finds himself embedded in these past lives with an extraordinary level of depth and realism. His recollections range from being a caveman in prehistoric times to being a medieval hermit, a crewman on a Viking ship, and even a nobleman during the French Revolution. In each life, he faces challenges and oppression, often due to political or social injustices, mirroring the seeming injustice of his current imprisonment. Through these incarnations, Standing learns about survival, love, violence, betrayal, and spiritual awakening. These experiences help him to understand the nature of humanity, the concept of eternity, and the ties that bind disparate lives through time. Importantly, the memories of these lives also give him the strength and resilience to endure his ongoing suffering in prison. Standing's most significant past life is arguably his experience as a Korean official named Ah Moi, who champions rebellion against the Chinese Empire during the Yuan Dynasty. Ah Moi's life is rich and intense, with dramatic political conflict and a passionate love affair that ends tragically. It's through this life that Standing perceives the most profound themes of love, loyalty, and personal sacrifice, helping to alleviate the present pain of his confinement. In the contemporary timeline of the story, Standing strikes a friendship with a fellow convict named Ed Morell. Morell becomes intrigued by Standing's trances and his tales of past lives. He proves to be a steadfast friend, providing Standing with support and companionship as they both endure the inhumane treatment in the prison. Throughout the novel, the conflicts between Standing and the prison authorities intensify. Warden Atherton, in particular, emerges as a primary antagonist. He embodies the cruelty and inhumanity of the penal system, and his relentless torture of standing symbolizes the oppression of the human spirit. However, Atherton is also an unwitting catalyst for standing's mystical journeys, as the extreme measures he employs force standing to perfect his technique of mental escape. In parallel with the narratives of his past lives, Standing uses his education and intellect to reflect on social injustice, the meaning of life, and the human condition, often engaging in philosophical discourse in his own mind about the natural right to freedom versus the oppressive structures of society. These reflections highlight London's own social and political views, including his critique of the American penal system and his exploration of reincarnation and other metaphysical concepts. As the story progresses, Standing's spiritual sojourns and his coping mechanisms earn the attention and admiration of other prisoners as well as some of the more sympathetic guards. His unbroken spirit in the face of relentless torture becomes an inspiration to others around him, yet his body continues to suffer the effects of the harsh treatments inflicted upon him. Ultimately, Standing is informed that he will be executed. Facing his impending death, he welcomes the notion of a final release from his physical captivity and the opportunity to be free of his tormentors. He embraces the idea of the big death and looks forward to the ultimate journey into the unknown, which he now perceives as a natural progression and the gateway to another existence. In a poignant climax to the novel, Standing experiences a vision where he reconnects with all the lives he has lived before as he prepares for his execution. These stories of past lives are not only a means of survival, but also serve as a testament to the human spirit's resilience in the face of adversity and the quest for freedom and enlightenment beyond the corporeal world. The Star Rover 
concludes with Daryl Standing's final statement of defiance against the unjust system that has imprisoned him body and soul. He is ready to meet his death and continue his journey among the stars. His metamorphosis from a persecuted prisoner to a transcendent explorer of existence captures the essence of London's critique on the brutality of the incarceration system and his pondering on the enduring nature of human consciousness. <laughs>